Yes, it was a lesson learned. Sometimes we all get burned. At least that's what all the cliches say. And welcome to yet another edition of Texas Local Live. I'm your host, Ben Martinek, and tonight I've got Mr. Cody Forrest on. How you doing, Cody? I'm good, man. How you doing? Doing, doing real well. Hanging out here at the uh, ranch in Las Colinas, Texas. Super cool place. Uh, yeah, man. Just I'm digging it so far. Yeah. Digging the food in here, too, man. I don't know if you've gotten to eat or check it yeah, out, man. I thought man. y'all were going to buy me a Wagyu steak, but oh, that might dude, be pushing a little dude. bit, huh? Well, we'll, we'll help you out get to that place, <laughs> but oh, man, it's good, though. We're uh, we're here every Monday night for our event, and we're glad to have you uh, you guys out and yeah. uh, looking forward to hearing some tunes. But before we get into all that, got to gotta learn you a little bit. Got to get to know the artist. So I like to start out simply, why music? Why'd you why? get into this? Yeah, Man, started whenever I was young, I guess, just like everybody else, but... uh. My dad played in bands. He played the drums for a lot of guys okay. around town, around the house and stuff. And uh, I used to be able to go with them and sit backstage and, you know, just kind of hang out with the band and sure. see what was up. And uh, as I got older, I started playing the drums because nice. that's what dad that's what, did. Yeah. So I had to suit, do man. what dad did. Yeah. So I started doing that. And uh, probably 10, 11 years old, I would sit. They would let me sit with them and play and a few songs yeah. on the drums. And that was always fun. And uh but after that, it's – and then I, I think I tried to play the guitar when I was, like, still in middle school, yeah, like 12, 13 when you, when years you old. you the strings up, yeah. And it didn't work. I, I maybe tried it for, like, two weeks, okay. get that long. And then uh, whenever I was 21, I was going home one day, and my dad started playing a lot more on the guitar. He started playing for church and this and that. So he would keep his guitar in the living room. Well, every day I'd walk past that guitar, and yeah. I'm like – Man, I know I tried it a long Teasing time ago, it, yeah. but it might be different now. <laughs> and I sat down one day and I was like, "Hey, Dad, show me, show me them chords you showed me like ten years ago." And he's like, "All right." I think it was like a E minor and a D or something nice. like that. You know, so the simple chords. Yeah. And uh, I took it from there and I hadn't put it down since. So Very cool. I'm 27 now, so about five and a half years, something yeah. like that. I've been playing. So. Very cool, man. That's not too so, long though. Relatively speaking, yeah, in relatively the grand, speaking, grand scheme, it's yeah. very short. So did you start writing tunes like immediately, right? When you no. got picking up? Okay. No, like, tunes, I covers. say no, but like, uh, when I picked up the guitar, I was 21 and I got my first show, like when I was 22 and, uh, I had a breakup somewhere in between there. Yeah. And my first song was based off that breakup. Oh, of and it course. took me like, eight months to write it yeah, you know it was uh-huh. like this long process i look <laughs> yeah. at it and i'm sitting there staring at it i'm like i don't know where to go and finally i wrote almost everything i was missing like two lines of it and my buddy from corn city texas and went to college together at mcneese and he was like i was like preston dude you got to help me out man like yeah i'm and he's very witty and he's good with words and i was like dude can you help me and he's kind of one of the reasons i started playing guitar too because he was playing guitar and we had oh, another cool. buddy playing guitar but like and two minutes dude he was like spit out those two lines and i was got like, it tied it all together there it is damn it that's was, awesome man. it was done after that's that really cool. and i've written a few more since yeah then, do so. you still play that one the first oh, one? Yeah, that's, oh yeah that's cool man that's my really? uh, that's, that's my good. baby no that's good i yeah. always like to ask and it's interesting too you started a little bit later relatively speaking like i yeah. said we've got artists from everywhere in all age groups but um it's cool that you hang on to that and a lot of people write songs that are 12 13 love or whatever puppy yeah. love and uh, then I'll hang on to it. And I like I like that you uh, gonna yeah. keep that one, man. I hope yeah, it hangs I'm a, around. I'm gonna play it later yeah, for you. Good. So. I hope so, man. So. Looking forward to it. Cool. So you uh, got into it by family, by way of family, yeah. I should say. Yeah. So that's uh, a little bit uh, unique. And and the drums, I'll dig that too. Do you Hell still yeah. play now? Every you pick on drums uh, or no? Every once in a while, but like, it's, not really. It's, it's all not guitar. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all guitar. Yeah. Like when we practice, you know, me and the band will practice, and then we're straight business. You know, we gotta figure sure. out what we're doing. So I don't. I don't mess with the drums. Every once in a while, I jump on them, but it's not yeah. not too often at all. So how do you uh, uh, how do you write stuff now? How do you come do you come up with it with the band? Do you guys like sit in a room together, or do you bring something to the guys like this is what we're going? Let's try this out. As far as writing songs, yeah, right, yeah, writing. Nah, new I, yeah, I write most everything okay. by myself, uh, and then bring it into the guys. And yeah, all kind and of I'll be like, hey, parts. what do y'all think about this? Yeah, and, very cool. You know, and it just be like a throughout the day, I'll have an idea pop in my head. Sure. And, I make sure I write it down on my phone, you know, yeah. or if I have a piece oh, of paper, yeah. I got to 
the write memos. it down real quick and then <laughs> yeah. save it for later. But like I have probably ten songs right now that I got four or five lines for, and I'm like trying to figure out where I want to go with them and yeah. writing. I, I don't like writing, but like when you finish one, it's like. All right, man. That's yeah, cool. there's some. Yeah, that's what cool. said about it. No matter yeah. how long it takes or how short it goes, man, it's just uh, that feeling of accomplishment. You're done. You're like, damn, yeah. put a lot into that, a lot of thought into it for yeah. sure. And everybody's like, I bet it's hard writing songs. And I'm like, it is. Like, you remember that when we were in college and you had to write a 5,000 word essay? Yeah, that's a song. Like, yeah, that's how yeah. we have to write songs. And I'm like, it, I'm yeah, because like, oh, you, you write a 5,000 words, but you yeah. narrow it down to you know hundreds, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, damn, yeah, yeah it's yeah. got to be the best, the yeah, best hundreds so, of it. Yeah. I mean, you, Scratch stuff out, write something else, scratch that out, and it's just a I'd even argue vicious process. Uh, performing that song is harder just because you wrote it down, heart and soul, and then you're like, damn, oh, yeah, people got to hear this too. Yeah. And it, you, yeah. it depends on where you're at. It's, yeah. It's where the, <laughs> yeah. the crowd, you know, how they're going to react uh, to oh, it. Oh, for sure. Sometimes, like, you know, you go to a bar and everybody's into, your, into the music, and then you play original, and it's like. Dead. What happened? Yeah. Where, where'd y'all go? They were go? expecting a cover band yeah. or something, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, you know, but I always tell them, like, before I do original, like, hey, guys, it's an original song. Like, yeah. y'all give me Stay some feedback me, or yeah. something. And, yeah. But most of the time, like, it goes pretty well. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, so. yeah, having, getting talent, too, that helps out, obviously. Being able to perform yeah. and have that confidence. But, yeah. uh, man, I, I would argue, yeah, may, a lot of artists been made or broken uh, by that first crowd, that first open yeah. mic, right? Like 20s, oh, yeah. you're pretty vulnerable, even teens, and you're putting something out there and you don't yeah. get the response, man. Unfortunately, for might not write time, again. Yeah, it's like, like ah, for a long time, you know, I'd, I would sing an original song when, like, nobody would respond. I'm like, yeah. that song sucked. Like, I'm yeah. never playing that song again. Right? Like, that, man, I, I, it took me five months to write that song uh-huh. and nobody said and nothing. nothing. I'm like, I'm done with that. That was garbage. But you play it somewhere else, you get a, you get a claps all around, man. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just, yeah, you got to like, throw it out there. Yeah, my music is more geared to, like, a honky-tonk, like a dancing place, sure. you know. So, whenever I get in those kind of crowds it's a lot easier to play well you're feeding songs. off that vibe because you yeah, know they so want to get yeah, them on yeah. the dance floor you know if you see people dancing to your yeah, music that yeah. always makes you feel good oh so. heck yeah man yeah that's I great like that. that's amazing and if you get with a band it just brings oh yeah your song full to, yeah next level to, man yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's that's when i really like playing yeah business. very cool so, so tell me uh, or tell us i should say the audience <laughs> and myself yeah i want to know too uh tell us a little bit about uh, the road some maybe some things you've learned and then back to that notion of the new artist that's up and coming what would you maybe a piece of advice you throw their way as well man just like just take opportunities if they're given to you you yeah. know there may not be anything that comes of it but it's one of them deals like if you don't take them you'll never know where it could have led or where you know and don't be afraid to bite the bullet yeah you know sometimes you're gonna have to take a a free show if it's in a good spot just take it you know yep. like not too long ago i made a a weekend run with some guys and they uh it was a drake hayes band but they're out of, from texas and i met them in lubbock i went and played a show in lubbock didn't get paid for it didn't do nothing but yeah. had a good response from everybody that was there so that was good and then i played one in uh right by fort worth with them and then tyler texas and i did it all for free but yeah everybody Man that I play, like, good response, like, hey, where can we get your music? Where yeah. can we, you know, where are you playing next? Like, where can we follow you, you know? And so sometimes the free stuff is is the best, honestly, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's good to get paid, no doubt. But, sure. you know, sometimes you just got to – you got to – Take the bite. Yeah, hustle what a little. Yeah, yeah. Today's day and age, so. though, man, you can get away with that a little more. You can you can point them to your digital sales. You can point yeah. them to your merch if you got it. You know, yeah. If you get your site built up too, which is another thing I like to ask too, like how you market yourself and how you go about doing that. If it's on yeah. your own or obviously with someone uh, else. Oh man, yeah. I got a lot of help. Yeah, honestly. that's good. Uh, but that's good. So and even just shaking hands too, like you said. Yeah, like just being always. There. Yeah, don't. There's a, there's some people that like to, you know, think they're bigger than what they are. And that gives you a, a bad name. Just stay humble. You know, do your thing. Have a good time with it. But yeah. don't don't piss in anybody's Cheerios either. Oh, you for know? sure, yeah. And there's a lot of people that think. And music, I mean, it's a tough road. And it's, you know, it's not given to you by any means. Like you got to work. If you really want it, you're going to have to work for it. Yeah. You know, so. got to. Anybody, shake hands, respect people. Even if they don't respect you, man, just just take it and Fake keep it till you rolling. make it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just keep rolling. It'll it'll work out how That's it's supposed cool. to. So. Very cool, man. What are uh, what's a cool show you've done? Well, like, what's your biggest thing that stood out to you that you've gotten to book and 
be a part of? Man, we ju- we just did one of the biggest festivals in Louisiana this last weekend on Saturday. And nice. That was we had a huge stage. I had two. Where was this at? Two what stages was it? Yeah. In, uh, it's called the Marshland Festival. Okay. It's in uh, Lake Charles. Okay. At the yeah. Civic Center over there. So okay. it's a huge deal. They got bands all day long, Friday and Saturday. And Very cool. It was uh, that was a really cool experience and good crowd, just a cool yeah. vibe and yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, we kind of played dur- earlier during the day, you know, because my first time there. So sure. and like me and my band, we're just kind of getting started. So we just yeah. You know, we got to expect the early stuff right now, and then hopefully later on we can get the. Hey man, the next later year you might be headline. And, uh, you don't know, yeah. So that and we have a venue in Lafayette, Louisiana, called Cowboys, and that's always a super yeah. cool place to good play. Like if y'all can get in there Thursday or Saturday night. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a party crowd for sure. That's we have a cool. good time up there. That's really cool. And then uh, they have a a good spot in Beaumont or Orange. I think it's Orange. A brick and barley. Okay. Super good spot. Very cool. It's a little smaller place, but man, we have a good time in that one. Very cool. Yeah, there's some good names. Hope you people yeah. are writing this down yeah, if you're yeah, watching, trying to get man. yeah, get for out sure. there and start booking, man. Go or at least go see a show, right? Go yeah, out and see yeah. something happen, Y'all man. Can always come Shake out. Shake some hands, yeah. Yeah. What's uh what kind of stuff you got coming up this year in 2018, man? What's up for the rest of the year? Man, like I said, uh, Lafayette yeah. Cowboys are playing there this Thursday night, okay. and uh, got a few benefits coming up. On the 18th, we'll be in Nashville. Cool. We'll come back, and I got a few little spots in Lake Charles to do, and then we got uh some casinos that we're working with. We got one, the Gold Nugget in Lake Charles. We're gonna play that one in October, I think, and then we got. One in Shreveport in September that yeah. we're gonna go up there and play. So we got a a bunch of yeah, you got a lot lined bunch up, of band stuff coming up, which is awesome. That's, yeah. that's where I like to yeah. You know, you can feel some more energy and Heck really yeah, push yourself and yeah, take it to new heights. So yeah, how uh, uh, what kind of sets are you guys working with now at this point? You got like a ninety minute solid going, or will y'all do oh, longer yeah, yeah. stuff? We can yeah. play two hours solid. Oh, good, cool. That's and, awesome. Uh, that's hard to come by, time. man. That's hard to come by yeah. for sure. The two-hour sets are my favorite. Yeah, it's a lot yeah, of work. Straight up, too, right? No break. Yeah, just no, oh, no break. dude, that's what I love, man. Yeah. I do kind of, I do kind of uh, miss that. We don't go through the shows through the years, and yeah. that's the best, man. I love ride that energy, set. man. Yeah, ride it. Three-hour set, that's tough. Oh, but that's tough. Yeah, a, need a break. Two-hour set with a band, that, that's that's a lot of Sweet fun. Primo, yeah. Usually ninety minutes is like usually what I would suggest, and yeah. I mean two though. If you can pull that, man, yeah, two, you can two get hours books. You can get some good bookings, dude. Yeah, yeah we're uh, we're redoing our set list right now. We're gonna throw in some some older rock stuff. Okay, and, cool, man. So, so you got gonna, some? Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. We're yeah. gonna have a lot of, a lot of fun, a lot okay. more fun. You know, we already have a lot, a lot of fun, but yeah, we'll have a little more with the the older the, stuff. Add so. some old, yeah. Do you got some new stuff coming out this next year too? Or well, yeah, we do. Uh, I just got back from Nashville recording. Okay. With uh, County Q Studios and. Uh, it should be – hopefully it will be done this week okay. with all the mixing and mastering Very cool. and all that stuff. So. Releasing everything, or are you just going to hold off a uh, bit and release on? I'm going to re- release one song for sure. Yeah. I don't we'll know which buzz, one it's yeah. going to be, but uh, stay tuned on that, and then yeah. we'll, we'll release the full album I don't know, a couple more months, I guess, something like that. Okay, cool. So. Well, tell us, yeah, tell us where to find your stuff. Plug it up, man, because we oh, want to yeah, keep we up. Yeah, we got uh, Instagram, Cody Forrest. I think it's Cody underscore Forrest with two R's. Uh you can go to Facebook, Cody Forest Music. Uh, you can look at our website, Red, redbarnmusicl.com. So it's got a – that's our manager's page. He kind of – he's Works the one who got that. us yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. So he, he helps us out a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Shout out to Redborn for Heck sure. yeah. So we got a lot of good guys cool, on man. that roster. Yeah, so I know. We're going to – we got a good lineup tonight as well, yes, man. We it's going to be a lot yeah. of fun, dude. Louisiana Definitely. boys coming in hot. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, man. Yeah. We'll be kicking that off here at 7 ish. See how these keep rolling. Yeah, it's going to be a fun <laughs> night either way. But Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, we man. always have a good time. Heck yeah. We well, don't know how to have a bad time, that's for sure. That's <laughs> no, that's not a bad thing either, man. That's good stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Well, appreciate you chatting with us, man, Cody. Oh, yeah. I, I dig it a lot. I'm glad uh, you guys are making moves and uh, yeah, we're seems trying like anyway. you're <laughs> moving the right direction. Hey, man, you're yeah. out there doing it, and that's all that yep. counts. So, but uh, appreciate the talk, and we're gonna hear some tunes uh, from you guys next. Yep. So, looking forward to it, man. Thank you. See Thank you all you. a bit. Life must go on 
Well, even though it's all sometimes, why did you leave me sitting here all alone? I thought we had it all. I thought we could work this out. But there's no turning back for now. And I guess it's true. What the old wise men say That every dog will have his day I never thought mine would come And that's just a fool in me but I was blind and now I see Guess it was a lesson learned Sometimes we all get burned At least that's what all the cliches say But if I had it my way We'd be down Louts Highway Instead of two lost souls all alone And I guess it's true what the old wise men say That every dog will have his day I never thought mine would go And that's just a fool in me But I was blind and now I see This old life will take its turns We don't understand I just miss the simpler times when I was your baby. And I guess it's true what the old wise men say that every dog will have his day. I never thought mine would go, and that's just a fool. I was blind and now I see Before I was blind and now I see well, I must go on even though it's hard sometimes Why did you leave me sitting here all alone?